Body Parts, 1991. After losing his arm in a car accident, a criminal psychologist has a replaced with a limb that belongs to a serial killer. Directed by Eric Red. Written by Pierre Boulot and Thomas Narkjack. Released August 2nd, 1991. It will scare you to pieces. Two wins and three nominations. Here's the cast. Jeff Fahey as Bill Crushank. Lindsay Duncan as Dr. Agatha Webb. Kim Delaney as Karen Krushak. Zakes McCo as Detective Salchuk. Brad Dorif as Remo Lacey. John Walsh as Charlie Fletcher. Paul Ben Victor as Ray Kohlberg. And Peter Mernick as Mark Draper. And the cast goes on. Here's a film, believe it or not, I've never seen until this week. I don't know why, but wow. What a film. I'm quite impressed. Jeff Fahey plays a character where he's like a psychiatrist. And uh, one morning, he kisses his family goodbye, and he goes to work. And he's on the freeway, and he sees this car that the... uh, tire is about ready to fall off like there's no lug nuts well it does and he kind of prepared himself for it but what he didn't expect a big ass truck could not stop smacks his car throws him through the windshield over top of the other car and he lucky to be alive but he lost his arm then it goes to the hospital to where the doctor Webb is talking to his wife that they need to hurry up they have a donor and so she signs the papers and one of the most creepiest scenes I've ever seen in a movie is in a gigantic hospital surgery area to where you see police officers with guns and you see this one guy at one table and Bill Jeff Fahey on the other table (laughs) he would turns out that the serial killer was sentenced to death. So before the, the sentencing, the doctor convinced them to bring this serial killer in and take his body parts for people who need it. It's a crazy fucking movie. So there you go. Um, Bill gets one arm, Brad Dorif gets the other arm, and Mark Draper gets his legs. But the problem is with Jeff, Bill that is, same person, is at times he can't control his hit arm. I mean, he's doing like crazy shit with it. So he's worried. So he's trying to do an investigation on it. He meets up with Mark Draper, and he has problems with his legs as well, but he's not admitting it. And then, of course, Brad Dorif has a remo lace. He's a painter, and he's all happy because he's painting images, basically, from the mind of Charlie Fletcher, the serial killer. So what happens, but there's, there's more to this story that meets the eye because there's one other person that you find out three quarters of the way through the film that each one of these recipients get killed. So there's a hidden story behind the story. I'll say no more than that. I mean, I know it's 91 and you got and a lot of people have seen it, but in case you have not, I'm not going to give you that story, that, that complete story. Well acted, well shot, well written, is a really fun film. Quite surprised. So check it out. Body Parts, 1991. This is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film an 8.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed this one. It's phenomenal. This is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.